hello guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to learn about all of the soil orders in briefly so let's get started first one is anti-sols so anti-sols are the last order in soil taxonomy and exhibits little to no soil development other than the presence of an identifiable topsoil horizon. It is also known as baby soil or newly born soil. This soil occurs in areas of recently deposited sediments. Some um, some typical landforms where antisols are located include uh, active flood plains, drones, landslide areas behind retreating glaciers. And uh, the rate uh, is faster than the rate of soil development. And antisols have no B horizon, only A horizon is present. It can be found in all environments and it is the second largest group of soils that is um, uh, uh, contains um, about occupying about 16 percent 16 percent of earth's surface so this is about anti -sols. then insectisols insectisols come from latin inceptum Incepta mean beginning. It exhibits a moderate degree of soil development lacking significant clay accumulations in the subsoil. They occur over a wide range of parent materials and climatic conditions that have a wide range of characteristics. They are slightly developed. There are moderate degree of soil development, then clay accumulation in the subsoil occur in inceptive soils. Then uh, it is the 17% uh, of earth glacier free surface. That means it is the first position. It is in the first position. 17% of the earth glacier free surface. Here we can see the type, uh, soil types inceptisols then alfisols alfisols from the soil science term pedalfar pedalfar means aluminium and iron they are similar to artisols but are less intensively wither and less acidic they are fertile in favorable moisture conditions uh, usually very productive but uh, less in intensively with the less acidic more inherently fertile than artisols similar climatic regions and uh, found in uh, under forest vegetation and it occupying about 10% um, of the glacier free land surface so this is the alfisols then molly salts molly salts come from the latin mollis mollis means soft they are uh, prairie or grassland soils grassland soils um, that have a dark colored surface horizon that means it has a dark color surface horizon this is dark color surface horizon uh, they are uh, rich in chemical bases uh, such as calcium magnesium etc then they are naturally fertile uh, slightly leached uh, then uh, they are um, climates with pronounced dry seasons and it can be se uh, semi-arid to be to sub humid climates and it occupy approximately uh, seven percent of the glacier free land surface this is molisols then next one is artisols artisols come from latin ultimas ultimas means last they are soils that have formed in humid areas 
and are intensively withered. They are appreciable amount of translocated uh, clay and they are relatively acidic. They are most moderate to low fertility and uh, it occupying 8% of the glacier free land surface. This is artisols. Then aridisols. Aridisols come from the word, Latin word um, aridus. Aridus means dry. They are the soils that occur in climates that are too dry. Too dry for mesophytic plants but uh, suitable for uh, xerophytic plants. They found in arid region soils and uh, it restricts soil withering process and accumulation of salt, gypsum or carbonates occur in this uh, order. Here you can see arid salts. Then um, hot and cold deserts worldwide found the uh, arid salts and it occupying 12% of the earth's glacier free land. This is the arid salts. Then bharti salts. Bharti salts comes from the uh, Latin word bharto. Bharto means turned. They are clay rich soils contain a type of expansive clay. Expansive clay that shrinks and swells dramatically. Shrinks and swells dramatically. And crack building foundation and buckle roads are difficult and they are highly fertile because of uh, clay particles um, here you can see uh, uh, bharti salts uh, it is very highly fertile uh, because of the clay particles then water tends to pull on their surface because of the clay particles um, which is um, uh, which have um, water holding capacity high that means um, it um, occupy 2% uh, of the glacier free land surface. So this is the bharti salts. Then next one is oxy salts. Oxy salts come from the French word oxide. Oxide means oxide. They are the soils of uh, tropical and uh, uh, subtropical regions which are dominated by iron oxides quartz and highly withered clay clay materials clay minerals such as kaolinite they are found in sloping land surface and they are highly withered uh, they have low natural fertility and uh, they occupy 8% of the glacier free land surface this is the picture of um, oxy salts that is uh, oxide then next one is andesols andesols uh, comes from a uh, Japanese ando which means black soil uh, typically formed from the withering of volcanic materials volcanic materials such as as resulting in minerals in the soil which poor crystal structure that means it has poor crystal structure. They are moderate to high rainfall and cool temperatures. Tend to be very high erodible. That means it is very um, uh, fertile. And uh, uh, they are occupy on uh, percent of the glacier free land surface. This is the andesols. Picture of andesols. Then next on is spodosols. Spodosols. Um, uh, comes from the Greek words spodos. Spodos means wood ash. Uh, spodos soils are very most attractive soils and uh, it has dark surface underlined by an ash gray layer, reddish, rusty, coffee colored, or uh, black subsoil. Here you can see reddish, coffee colored, black su subsoil horizon. And uh, rainfall interacts with acidic vegetative litter. Uh, form organic acids it forms organic acids then uh, it has different types um, acid dissolved such as iron aluminium organic matter in the topsoil 
it has a illuvial horizons and move to illuviate to the colorful subsoil horizons uh, they tend to be acidic and have low fertility and low clay content it has low fertility and low clay content um, uh, it occupies about 4% of the earth's glacier free land surface so this is the picture of spodosols then histosols uh, Greek histos mean tissue uh, come from the word Greek word histos. Histos mean tissue. They are the dominant, dominantly composed of organic material in their uh, upper portion. That means it has organic material. Here you can see in the picture very dark um, which, which contains organic material. Come from bogs, moors, pit lands, uh, max cage, fens or pits and max. Uh, it is also known as uh, the, uh, this uh, orb such as books, mo uh, moors, pit lands, ma mask gens, uh, mask gates, fence or pits and marks. These soils from um, when organic matter such as leaves, mosses, um, leaves, mosses, grasses decomposes more slowly than it accumulates due to decrease in microbial um, decay rates. It is extremely wet areas uh, found in underwater and it is saturated year round and this is highly productive farmland uh, and uh, it is occupy about 1% of the Earth's glacier free land surface. So this is the uh, picture of histosols. Then last one is jelly salts. Jelly salts come from the Latin word uh, gillare. Gillare means um, fridge. They are soils that are permanently frozen, contain permafrost or contain evidence of permafrost. Permanently frozen, contain permafrost or evidently near the soil surface. Jelly salts are found in the acrid, uh, Arctic and Antarctic. Then, uh, uh, permafrost influence land use through its effect on the downward movement downward movement of water then cryo um, cry, uh, cryoturbation such as um, frost hips occur in this order uh, they restrict the rooting depth and it occupies about 9% uh, of the earth's glacier free land surface so this is uh, the picture of uh, jelly salts so this is all about the uh, orders of jelly uh, all, all the 12 orders now we are going to learn the sub orders of these uh, orders uh, so here we can see the general features major characteristics which already we learned about and, uh, and uh, the sub orders are such as um, uh, sub orders for anti souls Aquents, Arends, Fluvents, Authents, Cements, etc. Then, Inceptisols. Suborders for Inceptisols are uh, Anthrapes, Aquapes, Cryapes, Udeps, Asteps, Zereps, etc. And here are the characteristics and general features which already known. Then, uh, Alphisols. The suborder of alphisols are aquaalps, uh, cryalps, eudalps, stalps, zeralps, etc. Here are the major characteristics and general features of alphisols. Then, next one is molisols. The suborders of molisols are albols, aquols, cryols, gelols, randols, eudols, astols, gerols, etc and here are the major characteristic and general features of molisols the next one is uh, artisols the suborders of artisols are uh, aculps humults eudults stalts geralts etc and here are the major characteristics and general features of artisols then aridisols the sub uh, aridisols have uh, no suborders and here are the uh, major characteristics and general features of aridisols. 
then next one is vertisols and the suborders of vertisols are aquarts triarts zerarts torets starts edarts etc and here are the major characteristics and general features of vertisols then oxisols and the there are no uh, suborders of oxisol but uses of oxisols are oxisols are often used in tropical crops such as cocoa and rubber permanent cropping of oxisols in low income areas is very difficult because of low cation exchange capacities in and high phosphorus fixation and iron and aluminum oxides and here are the major characteristics and general features of oxisols then andisols and the suborders of andisols are aquants gelants cryants torrents stands udans gerants vitrans etc and here are the major characteristics and general features of andisols then spodosols <coughs> and uh, there are no suborders of spodosols but here are the major characteristics and general features of spodosols then histosols and the suborders of histosols are uh, polished um, fibrist hemi hemist saprist etc and here are the major characteristics and general features of histosols then last one is gelisols and the suborders of gelisols are histels turbels orthels etc and here are the major characteristics and general features of jelly salts classification with unique characteristics there are three orders with unique parent materials such as andisols histosols vertisols then there are three orders with unique environments such as aridisols jelly salts oxisols etc then there are three orders by age of development such as antisols inceptisols artisols then there are three orders by unique vegetative influence such as alfisols mollisols spodosols so this is all about the soil orders and suborders that's all for today see you in the next video thanks for watching